Welcome to Chia. <laughs> to what? <laughs> well, what do you want? Welcome to today's daily vlog. If you recognize this outfit and me and the hair, it's because this is just the rest of the day after day three of fasting. Uh, but there's a bunch of random things going on today. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna vlog today instead. So we're gonna start off with a big shopping haul because I've ordered a lot of stuff recently. Um, mostly bought, but some like gifted through like affiliate programs and links and stuff. So we'll start there. First one are, I shop for Christmas stuff after Christmas is over because everything is on sale. So these are these really cute burlap um, like Christmas bags. I saw them at Nordstrom when I was shopping one day. Look how cute. Tyler, look, isn't this cute? It's a burlap bag, cute. so it's like decoration. And it comes with a bunch of red sparkly stickers so that you could put your name on it. Hmm, focus. So it ends up looking like that. And you just stuff it, you could put it anywhere around the house. Um, you would probably maybe like put it in the alcove. I feel like if I put it outside, it might get stolen. I don't know. So I just thought they were really cute. So we got two, I think one small size for Nolly. I think these are the big ones. Let's see. What size is this? Nope, this is the same size. Maybe I got one big one and two small ones. Yes. Oh, cute. So this is the bigger size. I love it. The next stuff is from Revolve. So I swear every company now has affiliate, like an affiliate program. I know Lulu's has an affiliate program. Revolve has affiliate. Like to know it is affiliate. Amazon has affiliate. Modere has an affiliate. So there's so many ways to just earn extra money by using affiliate codes. If you guys aren't on the Modere one specifically though, you can earn up to a lot of money commission wise. Like if someone buys a bottle of trim and collagen, like you can make anywhere between five to 36% commission, it's a lot. So anyways, for Revolve, how you earn commission or like through the affiliates is if you sell a lot in return, you could use that money and cash out, or you can just shop online on their store um, and get whatever. So I got a few things. The first one is by this brand called Danielle Guizio. I think I'm saying it correctly. So it's this cute green, <laughs> green set. I need to stop buying green. Um, Megan Fox wore this, so I was like, I need, and it was on back order for freaking ever. So it's finally back in stock. It's a matching set. So it's like this kind of cord material. So, so cute. Ooh, it's kind of small. Let's do the neck thing. Okay, it fits around my neck. So it should fit around my waist. So it's this set. And then I actually got quite a few things. And then I also got these APL shoes. I love APL. What? Let me see those. Oh, all of a sudden you're interested. When did you get these? I told you I had a bunch of Revolve credit from the affiliate program, so I got some of these. Do you Isn't still have cool? credit? No, I used it all. <laughs> I want APL shoes. Look at the bottom. They're you're so mean. cute. What do you mean? You're you mean. Go buy them yourself. So Me. I got these. Hey, you know what? You should start posting more outfits and do an affiliate program for Revolve since Revolve sells men and then maybe you can get stuff too. Mm-hmm. You're me. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have these cute little fur mitts. Uh, we're going to Mammoth and uh, Salt Lake. So I wanted to get these. I. They're not for like snowboarding, but my hands are like never touching the snow. So I feel like I could just get away with wearing these and I'll be fine. So yeah, and then let me grab the other things. Okay. I also got some of the Fun Boy floats. 
So this is a ski shot. We're gonna bring this all to Mammoth. Um, we're going middle of February with Kendall and Chris. It's their house and then uh, Haley and Josh. And then this freaking blow up like little snowmobile. How fun, it's gonna be so cute for photos and just like sliding down the mountain. And then you guys have literally out of breath. You guys have seen me post this set a trillion, jillion times already. I love it and I'm gonna wear it forever and ever and ever. It is the By Dylan Tri Set. So it's the jacket, the little corset crop top is in my office, and then the green pants. So yes, anyone can join the, if any, like any one of these retailers that I mentioned, Modere, Revolve, Amazon, like you know what, anyone can be a part of their affiliate program. You don't have to like be pre-qualified or whatever, so do it. Okay, and then purchases was I went on Nasty Gal and I saw so many freaking cute things. I ended up being able to get like nine or 10 things for like $270, which is insane. Like that's a lot of stuff. I haven't obviously styled any of it yet, so I'm just gonna do a little unboxing right now and then we'll see later if I like the stuff or not and obviously you'll see it on my It's seat. time to eat! <laughs> I'm happy! Why are you so happy? Because it's time to eat. So we're fasting breakfast all the way till lunch and we're not eating until 12 o'clock so it's time to eat. Can you heat up one of my meals too? For favor. No, I don't have time. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. You know, in the box. So I have to show this on the stories. If you guys don't have this little cutting device, you need to get this. So they have um, an orange one where if you push it up, it just stays open, or this green one where you have to hold it, but you get used to it. It is plastic. So I mean it's still pretty sharp, but it won't cut you. The amount of times that I've cut my fingers with scissors non-bloggers when you're breaking down boxes it's so annoying and it's such a pain this makes breaking down boxes so easy okay first we have this cute little bedazzled skirt i want to style it with an oversized tee maybe some boots so it's like glam but girly and chic and edgy all at the same time and then we have these cute green oh these are really green i don't know we'll see they give me Grinch vibes. But these kind of velvety green flare pants. Then, ooh, I'm excited for these pants. They are black and tan checkered pants. I have a pair of big jeans that Okay, it looks so much better online. I don't know. The fade isn't my favorite, but we'll have to try them on. They're, they look really baggy. I don't know if I want to keep them. I, got, I thought this was really cute. It's just this blue mesh jersey, jersey. And I was like, you can wear this oversized with like jeans or with shorts, like so many different options. It's just very sporty vibes. I love anything like sports ish whether it be jackets or shirts whatever the last one is so cute i bought them just in case maybe i want to rock them during stagecoach oh these are tiny these are tiny i don't know they're shorts yikes maybe i'll like sew some lining maybe i can do like a fr like a rhinestone fringe along so it'll cover, but it's like festive. Oh, cute. So these are the front. They're just like normal. These are like hot pants. Okay, that's those. And then last item, we have a pair of boots. And so I wanted like just a clean patent pair. So it sits a little bit higher. So just because like this can bring a little bit more into outfits you know let me see if this fits though i can't tell if they look cheap or not 
it depends we'll have to work around it because it is a little wrinkly in areas that i feel like it shouldn't be wrinkly in but i like the patent effect i don't know we'll think about it the very last item is sincerely jules who is one of my favorite bloggers she's like og she has a collab with bandier so I really liked this yellow Sherpa flannel jacket. Do we like the mirror right here? Oh, it's cute. Oh, it is. This is an extra small, you guys. And it's like for sure oversized. So this is cute. I'm going to try it on with like normal clothes later, but the fit is really good. For reference, if you guys are new on my channel, I am just under 5'2", but I always just say 5'2". And yeah. Okay, that's it for my shopping haul. Today we have, we're gonna work out after we eat lunch. Is that my food in the microwave? Yep. And then we have to go over some pool designs because we have another pool meeting. So I'll show you guys um, more like backyard stuff or backyard inspo. This has been ongoing since October. We've literally had our inspo, our plans, everything ready, but the city just keeps delaying everything. So, but I'll get you guys up to date on that. And then tonight we are going to a special early pr premiere. Uh, we got invited by Amazon and it's one of their new movies. What is the movie called? I want you back. I want you back, yes. And we're gonna go see that and watch that tonight. So we'll go out to dinner before and do that. So it'll be a fun day. But it's, let's see if we can, oh wait, no, no, no. All right. So here is our plans. We've had this configurated for five months now. That's all you get to see for right now. <laughs> but it's gonna be a dream. No. All right. Stop showing them. Well, I'm just kind of trying to get them, give them an idea. So right. here we have our pool. The green will be all turf. The gray around will kind of just be like travertine. Um, tile. You know, tile, just like very big pieces. And then we have a lot of olive trees, palm Mushrooms. trees. Sagos. A lot of the like, this the long pointy, what are those called? Cypress trees. Cypress trees. <laughs> We've. I forgot to show them the barbecue pit right there. Oh yes, a barbecue pit. Um. So tomorrow, or what is it? Just pool only, right? Or are we doing like the tiles around the pool too? I have no idea. Oh well, we have another pool meeting, um, and we're just kind of picking out material, so. We like, what was the murky? So around the area, we obviously, we just want the largest kind of cleanest slabs that we can find. I don't want a lot of lines. I don't want it to look busy. To look very resorty. Yeah. And resorty isn't busy. It's busy in its own ways. <laughs> And if, if you guys are new, um, our overall vibe of just the house in general has always been Mediterranean specific, but then with little hints of like tropical, Spanish style, um, but Mediterranean is like mainly I the vibe. to be very green. Oh my goodness. So he dropped off a bunch of samples for us. These are kind of just like what the base of the pool may be and then the colors correlate to how murky or bright the pool color is and the main design of our pool is from this group of australian australian designers they're called three birds so they designed this three birds one pool a super dope pool that has like that arch that's why we have that little arch and then that's like a where the arch starts that's a baja it has steps down 
and here's like another view of the pool so we have some kind of like neutral tiles that we've bookmarked we just don't really know what we want on the inside i want it very clean like even on the inside of the pool like just clean simple we want the pool to look like a resort you, like when you go to italy or to the mediterranean like anywhere <clears throat> that's is around the mediterranean the pools are very just like antique stone and it's just it's very nice very nice so well, here's that's probably why we'll probably pick something like that maybe we're not gonna have a colored stone no i know Actually, no, let's, let's show them this. We're gonna go with your grandma and grandpa's hey, old school. no. <laughs> First of all, that is really, I mean, that is pretty in like Spanish style pools. Don't say grandma and grandpa. Okay, sorry. Don't be rude. It's, it is a pretty style. It's like very Hacienda-ish. Okay, sorry. That's not our vibe, so it's okay. You know? You're right, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. Sorry, guys. And then here are kind of like the murkiness colors. So we like this space, obviously, because it's ivory, and that's like a pretty okay. We don't want it super bright blue. We kind of like it murkier, but we also don't know if we want murky because because a follower pointed out, and it's kind of a, a good point. Um, if it's murky, it's harder to see kids swimming under, and you know that's like a safety reason or a safety hazard. However. We also are trying to decide if we really want that deep of a pool because even the pool at my parents' house, like we weren't really doing too much crazy jumping or whatever. We were just kind of swimming and hanging out. So we're still trying to decide depth if we want it to be more of like a casual thing and kind of just make it pretty shallow throughout or if we do want a deep end but even if it's a deep end, i don't want it super deep anyways because that's just more water that the pool has to consume so that's something we can figure it out it almost be kind of cool if we kept it pretty shallow the whole there's not many pools that are like shallow all well, the way remember through. brian showed us his rendering of like they call it like an adult party pool so it was a like a four or five feet all the way across, except for the ends where it got more shallow. And then in this, on the sides, they had bar stools on the inside where people can sit and like hang over with their drink, you know? So, but that's why we have that ledge that comes across the whole lane so that people can sit anywhere in the pool. Yeah. Yeah, so. I just used to get freaked out as a kid when it was super deep. Same, oh my God. So on my, on my uh, psychological test, Yeah. They ask you questions like, I am afraid, because it's yes or no, and it says, I am afraid of dark, deep, blue water, and I said, yeah, yeah, absolutely I am. Even when I would swim at the pool at my house, or at my parents' house, obviously I know, like, it's safe, but as soon as I, as I would, like, swim to the deep end, do a flip turn, swim back, I'd always swim extra, extra fast back to the shallow end because yeah. I was like, "There's a shark behind me," or there's like some creature that's like anaconda coming barracuda, the pool vent, around like suck me. I always was so scared, and I was a competitive swimmer and swam for like ten years of my life too. So I don't know why I'm so scared, but that's even at swimming practice at school, I would be scared of the deep end. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't like deep water. Yeah. So should we just do relatively shallow? Let's do relatively shallow. Yeah, and you know what? If our kids are gonna complain, they can go swim at someone else's house if mm. they really want a deep end. Absolutely. Cause this is mom's house. What are they house. gonna do? Is <laughs> they're just gonna be so obsessed with diving down to the deepest end of the pool and touch it? Hell no, they're gonna be scared too. Okay, but think about it. When you grew up and you were at like Kyle's house, what did you boys all do? You guys probably all Cannonballs into the deep end. Yeah, but we weren't. But but like okay, I said, well, someone how, else can how, have that pool. How deep, and how deep are we? Or how shallow are we talking then? I was gonna say like five. Just f like go down and then just keep it. And the the deepest is five because five feet. Be five feet. I'm still on my tippy toes because I'm doing this on five feet. How I mean or I mean seven seven. I guess seven is six. like six and a half. Six? Six know. feet. We oh, can no. ask him tomorrow. Also, do we want to do a fade? I don't like the fade. Like my hair. 
No, I think that's like too much going on. I think we should just keep the color like consistent because if it's deep, even at the the top flat part. Yeah, I don't I don't want it to be too much. I feel like that's like doing too much. So when you mean what he means by fade is that you can do different gradients. It's a fade, light to dark. Yeah, so you can like start with a certain different pebble on one side, and then you can almost make it look, your, your pool look ombre. And that would be cool if our pool and backyard style wasn't, you know, Mediterranean kind of old world, but because it is, it doesn't fit the vibe. And Let me look up Mediterranean like. pools real quick. I did on Pinterest already. Well, I'm gonna do it right now on Pinterest. And I'm gonna see do you have a Pinterest time. account? I sure do. Oh, wow, look at you. Yeah. So like stuff like this. So, I mean, this is, I just pulled this up today, but you know, just, you want clean. Like I've always wanted a really clean pool. Um, this is kind of like the look we're going for in a sense. You're so dumb. I just showed that photo. Really? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were mocking me. No. Oh. So the original, original, like I've had this pool pinned for two years is this pool here. It is Kelly Wurstler's home in Hollywood. And that, I mean, before- Little Kelly Wurstler. Before I, th she's more kind of like modern French, I feel like it's, it's like Beverly Hills Hotel vibes, but that was like the original like blueprint. And then from there, I wanted to incorporate like stuff that I liked, but we still like the round shrubs, like the clean green. We have a lot of turf in our design. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's gonna be tomorrow. And then we'll let you guys know. Like I said, the pool was supposed to be started, was supposed to start and, or just the whole backyard in general, we were supposed to start in early October and it is now February and we are still not breaking ground. That's okay, these things happen. I know, but I want it ready for summer. Probably not gonna be ready for summer. Okay, do you think it'll be ready for my birthday? I don't know. That's another thing too, is like as long as it's ready for my birthday, because I really want- it needs to be ready for summer. Birthday is October. That's a, that's a long, so I just, I want a really big like backyard, end of summer, like all white, just like tropically soiree birthday party because I wanted to do a big like 30th birthday here in our house this year, but because the house, we just figured out like the house was not gonna be anywhere done. So we're like nixing that. I almost wonder if it would so look better, inside. like the pool, since we're doing like light colored like travertine, if the bottom is a little bit lighter, lighter. Like that too. That's pretty, show them. So like this. So just like clear waters. Oh wait. Oh. Okay. Let me tap on it. So it's light tiles yeah, around and then the water is clear. So Very lighter. light, clear, not dark. It. You know what? It could be, so like. You know, uh, Em and Gary had light. They did. It is prettier. Maybe we'll go with, we can go with a, a lighter blue, but it doesn't have, oh, here. Here's another, here's a good. There's a good one too. Like this. It's like grayish light blue. Uh huh. Cause I don't like super, super, like baby blue, I don't like it. Mm. So here is another I, good idea or a good example where it's still light, but it has kind of like a, a hint of some gray and green. No, cause like the dark is still nice though too. We can do that for another lifetime. Okay. <laughs> we can do that for the second pool. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so mm. that's the update. Um, I'm gonna finish eating and then we're gonna go work out. Also, in all realness, -ness, realness, -ness, um, let me grab my vision board and hold on. So I had I just, I have so much energy and I know I'm hitting the vlogs really hard. And I was thinking like, why do I suddenly have so much energy? And then I remembered on my vision board, I came across this little excerpt and I put it on my board because I was like, I need to do this. So I'm gonna share it with you guys because I understand the concept of that now because I did that today with my fasting and putting God first and suddenly I just, 
I'm like, let's do all the freaking things and let's have a good attitude about it. And I'm just like, yes, like the excerpt says, be self-sustaining. It's possible to spend a whole day doing errands that drain you, which can lead to feeling overwhelmed and exhausted. While there are many things that you may have to do, such as taking care of your family and home, finding time to engage in activities that sustain you and help you feel nourished, the key is to prioritize meaningful, pleasurable activities that are energizing and really give your life meaning. So your to-do list is list all the things in life that sustain you and give you pleasure and joy. Next, write down all the things that drain you, be honest. What needs to happen in order for you to devote your time to more sustainers is maybe dropping some of the drainers um, and work on how you can reduce the impact and work on how, and work on what, work on how can you reduce their impact on your happiness. So um, another part of that where I kind of just like took it was when you wake up in the morning, you have an extensive to-do list, right? And everyone does. And before I used to be like, okay, let me get the stuff that I don't like and don't want to do out of the way first because you know, you just, you want to get the crappy stuff out and then end with the fun stuff. And so I always did that. But then I always also realized that after I would finish all the non, non fun things, I would be so drained and wouldn't even have energy to do all the things I wanted to do. And therefore I left the things that I wanted to do undone. And this makes so much sense. Like, and even, you know, what I did today, I started off with the things that gave me life, that energized me. And so we start the day, you know, energized. And then you're gonna top the energize with even more energy, right? By doing all the things that you love because not only do you do them faster, but after you're done with that, you're like, heck yeah. And then now you have even more energy to do all the random crappy stuff that you don't want to do versus depleting your energy with the stuff you don't want to do and then just working left with the leftover on everything else. So I did that today and I'm like, wow, we are thriving. We are doing all the things and it's 12.15. So I would definitely say it's a good thing. So maybe you guys can try that out and see if it helps you throughout the day instead of relying on coffee. I haven't had any coffee. I haven't had anything and I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. So. Just, you know, little, little word of advice. Okay, and we just finished filming a bunch of get ready with us's. This is the aftermath. We do everything in our um, living room don't right now. That. What? Because they don't even know where we're at. Our living room? Yep, they don't even know. Okay, well, they can see that it's the living room in the video. Inside. Okay. So this is our garage slash office. Is that better? <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, the house, like the way, the way that the sun kind of hits our house during the winter time, this is really the only area in the house that gets a lot of light, like here and the master and the laundry room. My office, which you guys have totally seen like in the summertime when it's lit with the sunset, it's so pretty and warm, but there is zero light that comes through the office during the winter, which is so tragic. So I'm, that's why I've been filming everything out here. But I mean, she's gorge. So like, why not? But okay, we have to go and drop Nolly. Poor little Nolly girl. Poor little Nolly girl. Hi, mamas. She's not feeling well and we don't want to leave her at home by herself so we're gonna go over to her mom or tyler's mom's and drop nolly off right now so she can watch her and just in case like i don't know i mean she should be fine she just sleeps but just in case maybe she like has diarrhea again or something and so his mom will just have her for a couple hours while we go to the movie screening and then yeah so we don't know if we're gonna have enough time to go to the dumping pla dumpling place, but we're gonna try to time everything well. If we don't, we'll just eat somewhere else, obviously. Righty, this is our outfits. This is our outfits. 
So I'm wearing that blue jersey shirt that I showed you guys from the Nasty Gal um, shopping haul or whatever. So I'm wearing it. It looks so freaking good, actually. Let me take off my blazer and show you guys. Swag. 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 Shrek. This is like not focusing. Okay, so I can wear it as a dress too. It's definitely long enough, but she cute. She is see-through. So we are wearing a Skims bra under. I love Skims bras. Skims bras and underwear. Their Everybody Fits collection is the tits. So also because it is a little long, I don't want it me to like look short. I just kind of tuck the corner in so it kind of drapes down. And yeah, and then I just have some heels, old Princess Polly jeans, and then TB, you know. I'm wearing, oh yeah. I'm wearing this Diamond Cross Ranch Jackson Hole Wyoming t shirt. It's a pretty cool shirt. We're huge fans of Yellowstone. This came on my Instagram. I got stuck it into buying it because the graphics are cool. <laughs> but not only that, look at my ass. Hey, language. My butt. 40, Isaiah 4331. Yeah. Pretty so sweet. dope that they're a Christian brand too. 4031. 4031. It's 4031. Yeah, 4031. And, and then some Abercrombie jeans. I bought these jeans. These are the 90s straight jeans. Are they the athletic? Fit these, or no, the regular? 90 straight. Oh, 90 straight, JK. Yes, 90 okay. straight. And then and some old school and Vans. And just some Vans underneath it. Yeah. But it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good fit. It is. Okay, we gotta go. See ya. See you guys soon at Din. Okay, bye. Yeah. I'm currently looking for songs to put over our Get Ready With Us video. And this guy, ooh, it's not focusing. But anyways, his name is what fits by Rag. Um, our friend Haley. Her boyfriend, Josh, which is our friend too. I don't know why I didn't just say that. So our friend Josh, he uh, showed us this guy and we love his fits. So I've been following this dude for a year. Oh, you have? I told you this. Oh, you're right, you're right. I told you, you I have. followed him since yeah. he had five to 10K followers. Yeah, and now fits by Rag Josh is probably at 62. Him the same time. He has really cool music, so I like to go onto his profile to kind of find videos for our outfit videos because he has good music so that's what we're doing right now and I found one already so we're literally wearing like these fits plus some other stuff on top of it and it's gonna be tight okay so in this get ready with us video we really wanted to highlight our friend David Gray's um, clothing line called pirate worldwide and if you guys are familiar with the name it's probably because it's where I got my World Series Dodgers t-shirt from that is like the popular and I always get questions on it so he has some really sick stuff and in terms of sports teams he only does LA based so Lakers Dodgers is that it does he do Kings mm. Mm, not that I've seen, but it was pretty funny because he only does the Lakers and Dodgers. Yeah. He doesn't do the Clippers. At least he hasn't done the Clippers. Um, some guy comment. I saw. Oh, I saw this too. He said, "Can you do the Giants?" And he said, "Fuck no." <laughs> <laughs> like was, literally. I started laughing. Yeah, D Gray is just. He's a good dude. He's a good dude, and his line is so sick. So definitely check it out. And they're coming out with a some new merch pretty soon and it is gas. Yeah, it is so gas. There's not one person that I've introduced the brand to who is not like, holy cow. It's very vintage-esque, kind of like retro designs, um, but everything is very modern. The fits are good, the fits are baggy, like the material he uses, the washes, everything is just, the attention to detail, I really appreciate it, especially for men's clothing because it's just, men's clothing is not it sometimes, especially with these types of like things. And he has got it down. So, shout out to you, D. Gray. The place that we wanted to eat at was very, very far. So, we came near, that's where the cinema's gonna be. So, we found a dumpling place here called Left. Oh, oh, dumpling bar. There she is. Oh, they have a golden spoon here. I haven't had golden spoon in so long. They have a lot of good stuff I'm trying to eat. They do. Let's go, baby. There you go, baby. This is everything we ordered. So we have the extra large dump juicy dumplings. We have cucumber salad, 
We have the tofu vegan black uh, garlic noodles and then Tyler got fried dumplings. I'm so excited to eat. Yum, yum, yum. I grabbed my blanket because I always get cold. I just want to be comfy. So we're headed now to the theater. It looks it's a pretty cool looking theater. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a castle. I was gonna say that, or it also kind of looks like uh, Whiskey Pete's. What the heck is Whiskey Pete's? It's the hotel at State Line on the way to Vegas. Oh, yeah, it's funny though. Kind of reminds me of like Whiskey Pete's. but whatever. Pretty cool spot. We got these two little wristbands and two little reserve tickets. Mmm. Getting concessions. Candies and must. Yeah. Kind of bummed because they don't have Starburst. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys, that's winner. a winner. <laughs> like, oh. Winner. Yep. Doing that. What are you going to get, Jess? Because that's what I'm getting. Why don't you just get you two get of those? That. We'll get two of those. Yeah. And red vines. I love red vines, too. That's also a must. Tyler mm -hmm. <laughs> found the beer. Mm. I'll do a. Uh... Uh, the California honey is about 875. Oh. So the California honey? For sure. Uh, Alright, so we're inside. We obviously can't record once the movie starts, but this is cool. This is our first like preview screening thing ever. Okay, well, we'll see you guys after and we'll let you guys know what our thoughts are. Okay, we just got out of the movie, and you share your thoughts first. I thought it was good. I liked it. So, I like movies like that. I like the romantic comedies. I think they're funny. They feel good. You know how it's going to end. They're pretty predictable. Jess said they're cliche, and they kind of are. However, no, but... However, the... I like Charlie Day. I think he's cool and I think he's funny. And there were really funny parts in the movie. And, you know, I, it actually ended differently than I thought it would. It was just, I just liked how they ended it. You know, it was a good movie. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was I'd cute. watch it again. I think it's like a seven, eight. Okay. So in the beginning, I was like, ah, oh, like this just is like too predictable. I leaned over to her, Jess. I was laughing. She's, I was like, you don't think it's funny? Yeah, like he kept she laughing and I was just like, no, I don't think it's funny. And it was not until about a third in, I was like, wait, okay. And then I started laughing more and then it totally did not end how I thought it was going to end. And then it extended on even longer and I loved how they ended it and I totally love it and I would definitely watch it again. So... I think it when it comes, I mean, when it comes out, we could rent it again on Amazon. Unless it's free on Amazon Prime, I'm not sure. But it'll be out on the 11th, I believe. And yeah, super cute. Charlie Day is so funny. I loved, well, I guess, well, I mean, this won't mean anything to you. But I loved the um, part where they were at the girl's house, the high schooler's house. <laughs> that part was unexpected. It was really funny to me. Um, yeah, no, it was definitely cute. Good message. Just, it was a cute movie. Mm -hmm. Cheesy, but not like dumb. You know, it was like, a, it was a cute cheesy. It was a meaningful yeah, it, cheesy. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get into and then once you're yeah. in it, you're like, oh, I kind of like this movie. Yeah, but totally like it. Super excited for you guys to see it. Yay! Now we're going to go grab Nolly and that's oh, it. Uh, go home and go to bed so peace, peace.